And thank you for sticking around after the game. I'm Rob Williams and I'm Megan O'Rourke in for Trisha Mackey tonight. New this evening, a Miami Township family. They have a message for drivers after they say a relative had to be flown to the hospital last night after being hit by a car in a crosswalk. Peyton Marshall spoke with the family in an exclusive interview you'll only see right here on Fox 19 now. Yeah, Megan, Rob, this right here behind me, this is the crosswalk where the family tells me that Barry was hit and knocked unconscious just last night. Now, I have been here for several hours today, um, and I can tell you I've been out here with a camera, with lights, and you would think that that would make people slow down, but no, I've seen firsthand just how fast people are driving here on this crosswalk. In fact, take a look behind me. I know it's dark outside, but behind me is a school. It's also a library right down the road is a church and residents here tell me they're scared for the kids and that accidents actually happen at this crosswalk very frequently. We get a knock on the door and it, it's the police and you know your heart just sinks. Jeff Angeline says his brother Barry was hit at this crosswalk on Buckwheat Road Tuesday night. He got knocked unconscious and thrown about 20 feet, 25 feet down from the crosswalk. Jeff says Barry had to be transported by air care to UC Medical Center. Within a couple minutes, EMS showed up, uh, a lot of EMS. Brian Foreman, the Angeline's neighbor, took this video of the response from first responders. When they were dragging him across uh, the field on the gurney to get him into the copter. Both Brian and Jeff say drivers regularly speed through this crosswalk which is concerning because the school and library are right across the street. What is your concern as a civilian here? More people are going to get hit, <laughs> plain and simple. Also, take note that the crosswalk lights are not working when you push the button. As for Barry, Jeff says he's home now, but he has a long road to recovery. He sustained four rib fractures, an orbital fracture, a cheekbone fracture, a nasal bone fracture, a fibula fracture, several lacerations that had to be sutured, and the obvious concussion that goes along with being knocked out like that. Jeff says the Miami Township Police are now investigating the incident with the driver. The officer I spoke with said that she was going to be cited. I'm glad she's alive. That was the big thing. What do you want people to know? I want people to understand what the crosswalk laws are and that the pedestrians have the right of way when they are in the crosswalk. Pay attention. There's too many kids around here. There's churches. There's elderly on scooters. Uh, I got a very good vantage point from where I live, so I see a lot. Uh, it, it's kind of scary. Both Brian and Jeff say more needs to be done and that those lights on the crosswalk, they need to be fixed. Reporting live here in Miami Township, Peyton Marshall, Fox 19 Now. Peyton, thank you.